is that there's no way uh, in which we can begin to deal with the problems of Africa without uh, without uh, without leadership uh, and without commitment. People give the example of uh, the development of the Asian countries. In Asia, the road will be built. <laughs> In Africa, it will not be. <laughs> so, it's true. Commitment, commitment is is the easy, easy one. And and you have to have a commitment to development. You you see it in Japan. It, it is that commitment of the government of Japan to development. I, even now, even now, that a developed country, but there is a tremendous commitment by the state. Don't listen to this nonsense that the state should give up the direction of the economy. It's nonsensical. And we have so many stupid leaders who think you can develop a country, that somehow you can hand over the development of your country to something called private enterprise, unregulated. Unregulated. Who had done it? The Japanese have not done it, the British have not done it, the, Germ the Germans have not done it. Huh? They meet, they will be meeting in Halifax in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in June, they will be meeting in Halifax. What for? To drink tea? <laughs> what do you think they are going to, to meet, to, to do in Halifax? The big seven are going to meet in Halifax. To do what? To discuss how to control the economy. It's not a meeting of bankers, it's a meeting of presidents and prime ministers on the economy. Yeah? And this, this, Ignorant people in Africa are being deceived, you know, don't do, don't leave it to the private sector. Where is the private sector? Where is the private sector in Tanzania to which you are going to leave to leave this development of the world? Where is it? It needs nothing. It needs nothing before you can have it. Is it? So you nurse it. This is what the Asian countries have done. And they go on nursing it. So the Japanese did it? Correct. Correct. Tough. It's only now they are beginning to open up their market. How do you open up your market to big competitors when you have no power to compete with big competitors? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, it's like, uh, Madam, I, I'm sorry. You, you know, in, in the world, in the world of boxing, yeah? <laughs> in the world of boxing, there are heavyweights, middleweights, and although the rules are the same, you put them separately, in separate rings. <laughs> so, the heavyweights in, in their own ring, you see? The middleweights in their own ring, you know? You don't put in the same ring. You know? A heavyweight and a featherweight. <laughs> Never! Never! How do you do that? That is murder. It's got to be called <laughs> But, uh, but that's what that's what uh, the, the, that's what the big seven are telling us to do. That that Germany and Burkina Faso should get in the same ring, <laughs> and that is called the globalization, freedom, liberalization. This is nonsense. This is absolute nonsense. You protect the weak until they become strong before they can compete. Always. This is the rule. This is the rule everywhere. But, uh, but our leaders, even if we tell them that, they, they dare not argue. They can't argue. When I go back, you can't say no. <laughs> so, one, one, as you say, one is the weakness. Our own weaknesses. In, uh, in, in internal, the internal weaknesses, and, and really, until we remove those internal weaknesses, we can't begin with it. The internal weaknesses are not the only problem. The problem is this pressure from the rich that we should, we should open up our markets to, for competition. I'm told we, we have opened, we have opened now here for banking, for instance. Banking. Now, banking. Tanzania banking to compete with, Euro, with the European and North American banking? This is nonsensical. Can, can NBC, can NBC, is NBC free to open, to open a branch in New York? NBC? <laughs> can NBC really open a branch in New York? So when you are saying, you know, let's be treated equal, are you really saying that the 
see, quality will give NBC an opportunity to open a branch in New York. Oh. This is rubbish. Absolutely <laughs> rubbish. So, so these big banks, they come to Tanzania. They come to Tanzania. I'm told they're beginning to come. And then they find the NBC. That now complain, they're complaining. The NBC is too big. We can't compete for them. <laughs> NBC is big for what Northern Bank? <laughs> But I, I didn't want to touch that. I did not want to touch that because that's another area where I, where I, once provoked, I don't stop. So. This podcast was brought to you by BG Media. Download the BG Media app today or visit barglobal.net for more podcasts.